Do you want to collaborate with other people, but don't want to be spied on by the likes of Google? In this video, we're going to take a look at HedgeDoc, which is an excellent open source collaboration tool with a lot of features. We're going to dive right into the demo today. First up, the primary way to install this application is a Docker container. This is the Docker Compose file that I ended up using. This is not for production use. I'm going to say it again, this is not for production use. I do have this particular file posted on my website. So if you need to get a further look at it or you want to copy it for your own testing, feel free to do so. You'll just need to uh, change the private IP here. But once you have this set up, all you do is go to that directory in your terminal, run the command docker compose up, which is again also linked in that article, and you will start an instance on port 3000 by default. And once you've done so, you'll get a page that looks something like this. So once you're in, you'll have the option to log in, so sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so. So you can sign in with Twitter, GitHub, GitLab, I believe, several other options. I just set up email address for this local install. So after you sign in, you're greeted by this page with your history of any documents that you've looked at. We're gonna take a look at a few of them here because I want to show you one I've kind of played around with, and then also some of the documents that this comes with. So the first one here is just one I've been playing around with. This is just a quick document I've put together to just see how it all works. One really cool thing that I spotted here is I was able to paste this picture in just by copying it. I always find it really nice when I can just paste because oftentimes I'm capturing a picture for a very specific reason. But by default, you'll be thrown into this reading mode right up here. If you click over to this or the pencil, you'll end up seeing a preview and the edit area or just the edit area if you pick the pencil. I prefer the preview mode, so that's what I'm gonna pick here. But I can start adding anything to this. It functions just like normal markdown. So if I need to add an unordered list, all I do is push, put a dash, put a space, and then start typing. Unordered list here. Additionally, I have a second computer connected to this. So over here on my right, I have my Mac pulled up and I can type from there too. And you'll notice my cursor for the Linux machine is right here, but I'm still typing on this second line. If I need to delete from the Linux machine, I can still do that. So I can have multiple people in this document working on it at the same time with those updates coming in real time. And this is a pretty nice feature. What I was really blown away with is some of the other features this has. But let's talk about some of the more common stuff first. So all the basic formatting and especially the markdown formatting is here. Bold, italic, underline, all that fun stuff is across the bar here at the top. If you click back to the home page, you can click down here on one of these icons and it'll take you into the features page. And this shows a lot of what can be done in HedgeDoc. There are so many things. Over here on the right, you'll notice the table of contents kind of changing as I go through headers. But there are so many things that you can actually add here beyond just normal text. They have code blocks, they have highlighted code blocks, they have tags and other metadata, emojis of course, you can do YouTube video inserts, you can include gist from GitHub, you can include PDFs, you can do math jacks, you can do latex, you can do UML diagrams, you can do mermaid charts. There are m so many things, music, so many things that you can do in this. I was very surprised at just the sheer amount of different options you had to get the information you needed together. This was all really cool, but then I noticed this right here, Sublime, and I clicked it. And then I have Vim and Emacs. So if I click Vim and I click here, for example, I'll, I'll get my cursor. I can move around with the J, K, and L keys or H, J, K, L rather. I can do that. If I want to, for example, use the command to delete a word, I can say DW. Oh, this note is locked. Let me go back to my, my note that I've created here. Let's say insert. All right, now that I have a line here, I've out of insert mode, I'm back in standard Vim mode. So now that I'm at the beginning of the line, if I say DD, I can delete that entire line. 
I say U, I can undo that. If I say DW, I can delete a word. If I say D2W, I can delete two words. U gets it back. All your standard Vim commands work in this. So you could really do a lot of editing really quickly with this. I'm sure the Emacs commands run, work the same way, but I don't know the standard Emacs commands, so unfortunately I'm out of luck there. One other thing that I was really impressed with is the slideshow mode in this. LogSeq and Obsidian both have slideshow views for their markdown files, but I don't think it's quite as full featured as this. So if I go over here and go to the menu and then say slide mode, it's gonna bring up this setup here. If I click right, it's gonna take me to through the slides, but you'll notice I have a down arrow here. I can actually have a branching slide deck. You'll notice there's two slides down here down, but I don't have to go through them. I can just go on. I can skip them entirely. Or I can go through them and then hit right and go to the next one. But what really got me was when you press S, you'll get this presenter mode, the speaker mode, and... You have a timer here, you have your time, you have your current slide, you have your next slide. This to me is really crazy on just how fleshed out this is. I'm really curious how often this mode is used, but I feel like the answer is probably not enough because this is very well done. But you can tag your articles, you can do basic things like that. As you build up more history, you can obviously see those here. I find it really crazy that we have Vim mode and we have a fully fleshed out slideshow view in this application. It's awesome to me. I hope that these modes are actually being taken advantage of. If I needed to share this, this is a title document to someone, all I would have to do is copy the link here at the top and send it their way. What do you think of Hedgestock? Is this something you want to add into your workflow? Is there another open source collaboration app that you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.